Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome back to Zero Page Homebrew After Dark. Uh, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games, and we're going to be playing a VCS Tech Challenge as part of the 2600 High Score Showdown Season 5. And every time they play a homebrew, I try and line it up for, with a show so we can play it more towards the end of the competition so we have some scores to play against. Uh, maybe the music could fade out instead of stopping abruptly. Ah, oh, what am I, DJ? What the hell, Carl G? <laughs> I mean, that part's never recorded, so... Um, but does it freak you out, I guess, when the music stops? It's like, oh my god, something's wrong. The equipment, <laughs> it's broken. Come here. Come on. Oh, he just wants food. Are you going to beg for food the whole time we're playing? Yes. It's like two hours before cat feeding time. Um... Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I want to thank all my Twitch subscribers for um, supporting the show. And their names are 8 Bit Swami, Al Nafur, Armscar Coder, Atari Age, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, 2D Catalog, Charles and Check, Charles Wien, Chive, Coconut, Danny VC, Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Gretem, Jedekiah, Johnny WC, Juan Uriah, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, Mark Space, Inc. Melitari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Mar Zarnawood, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nathan Strum, Neander, Pacra, VG Koa, Garcia 70, Render, Goes, Repentless, VG Guru, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice Rare Esmers, The D Train, Walsh, Mighty 9, TK9, KTM, M, Events, Trek MD, and apparently Ground Trooper as well. Yes, Ground Trooper <laughs> snuck in there because I didn't add him yet, just resubbed during the show. So, and Ground Trooper. And if I have a chance, I will add it to the scrolly list, even though we'll be playing the game most of the time. Actually, let me add it in right now. If I can do that right now. Watch this magic. Ground Trooper. Oh, what is this, Voodoo? Underscore Trooper. Witchcraft. There you go. Is it on the screen right now? Oh, not yet. It'll come around. The next show is fine. No, you subscribed. You get to be on it. And if you want to be on that list, you can subscribe with Amazon or, or Twitch Prime, which is linked to Amazon Prime for free. And make sure you follow us if you like the show, because then you get alerted when it's on like the 850 people do. Ding, 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 ding. All over the world. All over the place. Imagine if you can hear all those uh, notifications at the same time uh, and uh, like not. stack the amplitude of the... Of those dings. Distortion upon distortion yeah, of, yeah. of noise. Oh, or man. not distortion. No, no. Clean, clean. Clean, loud. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it just gets louder and louder. Yeah. Then that would discourage people from... Uh, would discourage me from It would discourage people them. from asking for subscriptions. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They so, would turn that notification button off. <laughs> they would. <laughs> Luckily, that is not the case. Oh, oh, oh. There's Ground Trooper on the screen right now. Um, this game is made by Simon Quernhorst, who is uh, at Simon on the Atari Age forums, and Paul Slocum, who did the music. It was first posted on June 25th, 2002. Long time ago. He also made Encaved Eye Project Kite, which is a two-joystick game, which we're going to be playing on the two-joystick day with all the other two-joystick games. Mental Combat, Raster Fandung, and a whole bunch of demos in C64 games. And which makes a lot of sense because this was originally a C64 game, but actually originally an Atari 8-bit game, but ported to the C64. Um, so let's take a look at C64 footage of the game. Um, so you get an idea. Oh, don't have the right cartridge on there. Boom, 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 boom. Let's mute that and just bring it up slowly. I don't know how loud this is. Oh, there we go. And this has, I would play this game on my C64 <laughs> just <Me>. for, <laughs> just for the music. The music is really cool. Uh, done immediately. There we go. <laughs> it has really, really cool music. Um, and when he released this game, uh, he did a limited run of 55 of them. And when he released this game, he released uh, like six different pieces, six different versions of the music um, on a mini CD. Mm. Uh, 
uh, and sold it alongside of the uh, limited edition version. So the game, this is the first level of the game, which is what we're going to be playing. In the Atari 2600 version, there are two of the levels from this game. Um, this one is, is basic jumping and ducking. But it gets very, very hard as you get closer and closer to the temple. The next level is dodging blocks, which is included in the 2600 version, but for the competition, this is not part of it. Mm. Um, the next level is jumping. This one's hard because things are just coming down really fast from the ceiling. Pausing and also jumping. But they come down really fast, so it's really hard. You can't back so, up. So you could jump over them, but you're... Oh, I see. Here's this the is where the jumping really comes into play. Oh, <laughs> error to the head. Pause error. And then... Spiders! The next... Do you duck in this one? I think it's just jumping. So it seems like you can land on a spider, but not have a spider land on you. <laughs> Uh, there's a bit of leeway with... Um, that was a lot of leeway. It definitely, like, yeah. touched a whole lot of spider there. And there's a scorpion. Too. Jumped yeah. right on a scorpion. Lots of leeway Maybe here. it's only only teeth. You just have to worry about the teeth at the front and the back is fine. Or it's Which part, makes sense. Or a certain part of your body. Makes sense with the non-spider creatures. But not so much with the scorpion, actually. The scorpion, it's like, no, the danger's at the back. This one... It's able to touch its face as long as you don't touch its tail. <laughs> is more of a memorization one. Ah... Uh, where you get an arrow to the head <laughs> if you mess up. This one is uh, swimming. You have to swim through a bunch of them. I remember playing all these levels. Uh, where's the next one? Is that the level? But it's just really good this level. There we go. And then after that, you go to doing short jumps or long jumps over each of the gaps. Oh, I see. So you're like... And if you do a long over, jump... You're in a chasm with the ocean far below. Yeah. If you do a long jump when you're supposed to do a short jump, like right there, you ah. should have done a short jump. Mm -hmm. um, did I ever pass that level? Uh, let's see if what's last. Oh, 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 I think that is the last level. And then you loop back. Um, it would be cool if somebody took the game further and put made all the levels, but it, some of them might be a lot more challenging for the 2600. A C64 could be game could not be played on a black and white TV. You could not see the piranhas. Oh, and this, yeah, that would they would blend right in, right? I think in a higher level, there's also a. Oh, it says there's misogyny. Oh, where's the misogyny in that? <laughs> piranhas is the misogyny. Okay. How is piranhas misogyny? I... I don't know. I'm going to allow this. Um... Where is it? Oh, I'm playing it. Oh my God. How do I get back? Okay, that's enough of that. Go back to this. I've seen all the levels that we're not going to be playing. I'm going to allow... Also, Thrust, stop being so misogynistic. Yeah, look at this misogynistic. And it highlighted the word piranhas. P-I-P-I-R-R-A-N? Hass? An hass? Ran H? I have no idea where it's getting the misogyny. Maybe it's uh, not in English. Oh, it could be another language. Mm. Yeah, it could be. If anybody has an idea, any ideas... That's very, very, very strange. Yeah, on the uh, Piranhas one, you couldn't see it because they would blend right in. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know how many people played their C64. C C64 are on a very... Deadly? Uh, Diamond-shaped. Yeah. They're like starfish, almost. Yeah. They look like uh, rays. Yeah, they look more like stingrays. Which, it doesn't matter. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I forgot to read out the people's names. Uh, Thrust, Ground Trooper, Carl G, Dan ABC. These are the people watching live on Twitch. Uh, Charles Whelan, Vitoko 8-Bits, Marco Yohannes, uh, Carl G, Are they Pocock, still here? 
They may or may not okay. be. Just not but sure. But a lot here. of them are. Those are the lurkers. We can't say their names. Very rude. <laughs> the Lunar Captain Classic. I did that once. Oh, got I got so much trouble. I got in trouble. You deserve the trouble you got. Yep. I did not know the trouble I was in. Because we used to do shows, radio shows, on um, through Shoutcast. And we would have a chat. Mm -hmm. It would be the IRC. And we would just read everyone's name that were there. Yeah. And it was fine. But also in the IRC, you could see everybody that was there. But they weren't all chatting. Right. But their name was listed. Whereas in yes. this, your name only shows up if you chat. It's, it's hidden. It's yeah. hidden. But I mean, it, it doesn't show up. It's it. not publicly posted. It, it there is. is a difference, I guess. No, nope, people what I'm can saying. see those. Everybody can see those. Oh. Really? So it's publicly, oh, okay. but it's apparently right. bad it's etiquette. It's just a. It's changed. It's, it's changed. Etiquette is changed. We learned. We learned about the etiquette. <laughs> uh, so there's these. We didn't these, know before. Uh, challenge. We didn't know. Now we know. Now you know. So here is the High Score Showdown Season 5. Uh, August 1st through 7th, so it's the 6th today. So even if we got the top score, somebody's going to beat us, which we won't get the top score. <laughs> AFCS Tech Challenge, Default Game Mode, BB. Uh, if you want to lurk without being your name accessible, don't log in. That is true, Splendid Knight. Good point. I'm going to read out all the names now. <gasps> no, I won't. Uh, and other games are coming up. Skateboard and Mystery Game, Robot Tank, Dark Cavern. So most of them are classic games. It is cool that there's an option for you to take the power back. Yes, <laughs> To keep is. someone from making a mistake if it bothers you. Right. So there is the game. Uh, that is not part of the game. I don't know why they put that on the screen. Hmm. Uh, and it ends at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 5 p.m. here But tomorrow. it is in the game. It's just not part of this challenge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So there are currently 111 comments, and the top score is 6,630 points. Um, second, 6180. This was taken 15 minutes before the show, these, this list. It probably hasn't changed too much. And then 5090, 4690, and 4580. Those are the top scores. We will not come close. Uh, last time I played it, which was June 5th, 2018, well, three years better, maybe I'm better now, um, was 2740, what I got. So not even half of the top score. And after 20 levels, you beat the game and get an end screen, which is pretty cool. Um, actually, I'll show you that end screen right now, because I'm sure not many people have seen it. And... I have not seen it, and the top player on this game has not seen it, so it's probably pretty damn hard. Uh, so let's see the end screen here. Oh, the cat's crazy. I know. I I know. It's you're very excited about AVCS Tech Challenge. There is the end screen, and this person used save points. To get to that end screen. Uh, posted April 30th, 2020. Not, use save states on Stella and after 20 levels this screen came up. I don't know if they're playing the original back and forth levels or just the main arrows level. Hmm. But hey Miss Command, welcome. I didn't know you could see the lurker either. We can't. Interest, never knew you could pub publicly see everyone logged in. Oh, we've given away the secret. Uh oh. Yeah, there's a lot of people there. And I know and I know a lot of these names and they just don't talk. Oh, you know? Or they haven't talked. Okay, so let's get into the game. A V C S Tech Challenge. Run cat run. So I have this on cartridge because I do like this game quite a bit. And there's some nostalgia as well, because I played this a ton. And it retains the music, the awesome music. Oh, you can't, can't hear it yet. There we go. And there's an option to have the music or an option to just hear the arrows. The noise of the arrows don't help you. They're not like, oh, a high one sounds uh, like this, and low one sounds like this, so I'd rather listen to the music. So there you go. But they do. Jump too early. 
I was not jumping. I was testing to see how you jump. Because oh. I pressed the button and pushed up the first time. I didn't want to have to do that the whole time. There you go. Can you land on an arrow? Uh, no. If you touch the arrow at all, you're done. If you hold down too long, you also die. But you have to hold down a really long time. So you don't really have to wait. So, the story. 1475, Tenochtitlan is ruled by Aztec sovereign Axayacatl. I am terrible at pronouncing uh, these Mexican names. Or Aztec and Aztec names. Uh, son of Mote... Oh, I died. Kuzoma. Well, you can only get shot once, right? Great graphics. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Really nice graphics. Um, no, you get a couple lives. I think you get three lives. Because you gave, your, what, gave up I one, gave of one away, but I didn't think I... I you, must have screwed there up. There they are, two. I must have screwed up a non You have two lives. We'll see what that two means. Two in reserve. Two total. Oh, no. You, being a warrior of the Zapotecs, managed... And we'll find out real quick. <laughs> ...managed to escape the battlefield together with two of your brothers. Ah, so there is three. So it's you and your two brothers. Uh, but unfortunately, your party was trapped uh, afterwards. Axa Yakatel offered you the only chance to survive by reaching the coast and leaving the country by boat. He challenges you with a spear throwing warriors along your path, with spear throwing warriors along your path, and stone rolling priests in the pyramid. I have to press the button to start. Uh, yes. Oh, what are they saying? Oh, probably a lot of people have it in the background while doing other stuff if they're busy. Yeah, that's true. Or they have nothing to say. As I do usually myself, I wonder if there's a way to sound a bell if you're being referenced in the chat. Um, maybe, because if you can at people, we'd want James to have that alert first. Yeah, especially if sound problems. <laughs> maybe, because you can at people. Let me try it. Should be sound. Uh, pause chat, pop out chat, emotes only. Uh, I wonder if people can see my feet twitch in the cat cam every time I jump or duck. Especially uh, when I jump. They can. They can see your feet. So <laughs> I don't see anything about sounds. But it might be there. Yeah, as far as I know. But maybe somebody can check into that. Because that would be really, really handy for me. If you can do a bell. I wonder if the Twitch app... Uh, Using the Twitch app instead of a browser would give more options like that. Oh, maybe. Why well, are you one sixth of the way to the high score? It gets hard. So, yeah. I'm glad you don't have to do anything to run. <laughs> yeah, like going. Up, back and forth, and then and then you have to hop, and back and forth, and you have to hop. Um, reaching the pyramid safe inside allows your team to relax for a short time and prepare for the next trail. Uh, push joystick up to jump, down to duck. Avoid getting hit by spears. Ducking for too long will cause you to stumble and lose a life. Oh, oh, you let it go too early. You looked just in time to see me die the first time. <laughs> I did. Oh, well, you jumped. There we go. Yep. Now it's getting fast. After you reach the pyramid, the game will continue depending on the setting on the left difficulty. The game continues either with the next gauntlet stage or the stair level in between. Uh, stairs control pushing. Well, we won't go to the stairs um, because that's not part of the challenge. The, the difficulty switch is actually wrong in the manual, or he programmed it wrong. And you can pull out of a duck or a jump if you make it the wrong direction. Yeah, I, I which, just did that. Which is that. very, very handy. And very nice to program. Um, and you can switch between music or sound effects. You get 10 points for every dodge spear or wave of stones, and at the end of the level, you receive 100 bonus points for each member alive. It doesn't say how many. We're definitely going to quickly reach the point where my reflexes are not quick enough. You receive a bonus there we go. life. <laughs> 1850 for Darcy. Yeah, very nice Fuji uh, symbol. Hmm. Uh, so, if somebody could type that, or Darcy, I'll put a D, 1850. Let's see what I can 
do here. It's actually harder at the beginning because they're moving so it slow. It does reach, you're right, it does reach a point where it's optimal speed. Yeah, and then it gets too fast. Like yeah. This is very slow. And jumping is the problem because you can't jump forever. You really have to time the jumps. Ducking is fun. As long as you don't hold it excessively long. Yeah, it's interesting that the jumping and ducking are different. Like, the ducking lasts as long as you hold it, and the jumping is press a button. The, bu the jumping could be a button it, press. Jumping can be shorter, though. Oh. I think. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, you can pull out of a... No, you can't really pull out of a jump super fast. I thought there was a slow jump and a fast jump. No, there isn't. It's just a jump. Straight up jump. But you can get out of the, the duck because it lasts as long as you hold down. Exactly. So don't mistakenly jump. And you're supposed to jump. There's a nice moon there as well. This little gray moon at the top. Which is showing up. I looked over at the uh, the screen over there. Later, Miss Command. Have a good day, evening, dinner. weekend. Have a good dinner. supper. What? Bring your supper so for today. supper. Oh, going out. Bring your supper to the computer. Bring your computer to the supper. Bring your family to the computer. <laughs> Gather around the computer and watch ZPA. You have a phone, it's portable. You can watch the show anywhere you are. <laughs> Even if it's a formal dinner. You say, excuse me, I have something important that I have to watch on my phone. I am not singing happy birthday. So, uh, with the uh, memory game thing, I oh, tested yes. it during the break. I tested the... Because you had a theory. Yeah, so I went through and I wrote down everything. I did. I cheated. I did tell, not tell use my memory. Tell us about your theory first, why you're doing this. Because some people I didn't want. So, uh, so, it's the memory game, and we were trying to figure out how many guesses you needed, what the minimum you could have to guarantee that if you did everything perfectly and didn't make mistakes, that you would succeed. Um... And in theory, if every time, if the first half, if everything went your way, every time you uh, guessed, you would get a new piece of information. Yeah. That you, either that you got information you can immediately use, or information that having a perfect memory, you would succeed at, as long as you got the information. Right. We're trying um, to figure out the minimum. We're trying to number. figure out the minimum. We came up with nine was seemed reasonable. Well, nine was the the nine was definitely the minimum you needed without luck. Yes. Without being lucky, you needed nine. Yeah. So that we figured it. Out. We did figure that out successfully. That wasn't the question. It but, wasn't the bigger question. But anyway. the the thing that I was uh, saying was that if you so if you get if, so. This is how it works. If there's the grid, you click on one, you see new information. The second one, you see new information. The next time you you move along, you click on one you haven't seen before, you see you either see something you've seen before. If you if on the first click you see something you've seen before, you can pair it up and you lose nothing. But if the first one is something you haven't seen, and then the next one is something you have seen, then you're not getting any new information and you can't take advantage of it. And so I played through doing that, and I used 12 before I got to the point where I had all the information. Um, and I did have a couple of lucky chances, like where uh, I got it on the first try. Um, but I needed 12 um, because of that, because I had several times where the second button click so like you know you know how memory game works you you flip a card and then you flip another card and so several times on the second flip it was something that i'd already seen and so now the next turn i could make a match but this turn is wasted and i only got half the information i ended up eating up three extra turn points so that's the story that's my very exciting story I, I don't know if I... Anyone who was watching and paying attention at the time probably knows what I'm talking about. And anyone else is probably like, why do the words <laughs> coming out of your mouth make no sense? <laughs> well, are you trying to confuse us? Because you could not have... Thank you, Vitoko. You could I, not have confused us more. I almost got, got to my last score, 2740. Oh. I'm going to do something different next week. 
and do you it guys now. can tell me if I'm cheating or not. Uh, I, it, if you can do it, I'm not sure that it's cheating. I'm gonna hold the joystick upside down. That's definitely not cheating. Yeah? No. Anybody think it's cheating? Out there? Definitely not cheating. <laughs> We're doing worse. Do it properly. Okay, I have more to start over. Do you want to? Okay, while while you're waiting for it to. Okay, why does this help? Do we have to figure it out? Uh, sure. It's a physical thing, so why don't you just tell us? Oh, I'm not. I have to. I have to change my. Uh, yeah, my thinking as yeah. well. Why does it help? Because uh, it's easier to to pull in the to push up. If it's if it's up top, I push up. If it's down, I push down. Yeah, I don't think that that's um, an advantage. I think that's you just... Have to think you have to learn. But it, 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 it might... Yeah, it might. But I think once you program yourself, either one works, yeah. is what I would guess. I will see. Already died. Yeah, I'll have to die again. Well, you, you're you going to have to keep going until you get the muscle memory figured out anyway, so... True, but I, I, I know that... Because I was, because constantly when I was playing the last game, I was like, oh, I have to push the opposite direction of where the arrow is. So I have to look, is it up or down? We're, uh, yeah, Tamara was, she's always watching uh, videos about uh, people, <laughs> how we work. Okay. Um, and one of the things, it was, it was how to learn. The guy was saying that when you're trying to learn a new thing, the most important factor is failing. That you want to you want to repeat the thing you're doing over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And when you fail, that's the trigger to learn. That's the trigger for learning. When you succeed, it sets up. What it does is, if you fail, it sets up, like chemically in your brain, this the opportunity to learn when you succeed. And so you want, you actually, I mean, it doesn't you help learn when to know you fail this, and succeed. But no, what, it, what, what he's saying, and he studied it, he's not just using common oh, yeah. sense, he studied it, is that the key factor is failure. If you don't fail first, then you don't learn the way that, like, as quickly. Okay. Because winning gives you dopamine, and that's your goal, is to try and succeed. But it's the failing that primes your brain to learn, oh, when, uh, it, it sets you up so that when you succeed, you learn a thing. Mm -hmm. And that if you if you just succeed without having the, the prerequisite failing, it won't stick the same. Okay. Like it, you just won't you won't you won't learn mm. because your brain isn't primed to learn a memory. Mm. But when you fail, it is something like that. Interesting. I'm, I'm not giving you like the the, the data. So maybe you think you it's summary. too easy and you don't. You're not really trying. It's like at like, a chemical level. Oh, I succeeded. So. It's like at a chemical level. Like your yeah. brain, it, it's not, there's no like, you know, it's like evolution. There's no like rationale behind it, but it's just how it works. I don't think like I in can reality, do it upside down. Yeah. I, I keep thinking it's the other way. It was a good idea. I think, I think if you did it that way, if you were like in it for the long haul and you did it that way, I think it would be superior over long period I possibly. I think it would. I think it would too. But don't you push up to jump and down to duck? Yes. Oh, I see. You push up to jump. So you push your guy up. But you were trying to do it by where the arrow is I'm just instead of where your guy goes. I'm just like, arrows up, push up. Arrow so, down, push down. So, but the reverse does work because if you just look at the guy, you let your peripheral vision tell you that the arrow's there, you push up when you want your guy to go up and down when you want your guy to go down. So either one is a brain screw. Yeah. Someone should do a game where it's all about odd controls permanently changing. No, someone should shoot thrust for <laughs> suggesting that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there, in 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 sp terrible in space game, yeah. you can get a bad power up. I don't know if you played that. Where it reverses your direction of controls. They have that in Noida as well, and it's just terrible. Just, oh my god, it's awful. It's the worst. It, it it might you maybe you can maybe you can learn something that maybe your brain can become more plastic. No. If know. you do it in the right way, I can see that succeeding. I, I actually think, think of an application. I actually that. think it would be worse for you because, it, like, 
you wouldn't be able to be as fast because you would always have to decide. That's you would always fine. have to figure. It's not fine in this game. Eventually, reach a point where you cannot decide. <laughs> you have to react. That's how you, you can't win this challenge without. Oh, no. I mean, they would have to be built removing into decisions. The game. Decisions are slow. The they game would down. know that the, the, the controls are changing and it would account for that. And it would just be. I mean, I think this goes along with one of my sayings or somebody saying that you, the game should not be predicated on you fighting the controls. The control should never be the challenge of the game. And there's a lot of old school games where, oh, you have to jump from this exact perfect pixel or you won't make it across this chasm. Those are the worst. Yeah, I didn't. The worst games. And I usually turn them off after a bit because it's just so terrible. But What they're good for is training you to play other games that don't have that <laughs> better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trust says that. Okay. And now you want somebody to make a game where you have to fight the controls? Well, there you go. <laughs> the, tor the torture game. Um, you could have it where... Say you're a spaceship. And the controls could always be relative to the front of your ship. So if you are going up, thrusting up would be pointing the joystick up. But that's a lot of games already. And back would be thrusting down, left, right, left, right is all relative to it. Um, but a lot of games, modern games do that, so that's not really a twist. Yeah, but you do have games that... You're describing that Rocket League exactly. That's all new 3D games. You it's do all have games that, like, if it's uh, third... It, there's a certain type of third person. It's not really third person. It must be, like, like what is it, like, third three-quarter or what have you, where, like, you turn... You push the direction of the screen in the direction you want your character to go. There is no facing. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not... Space I don't have that space very automatically. Like, that's not... My muscle memory is not tuned to that. Will you go in the direction you point? Yeah. Well, what a... But what in a space game, it makes sense. But, like, like I guess I must, like, Bostonian look... I must see that. the character and, like... The way, the way the character is oriented is important to me mm. in terms of understanding how movement works. Mm. A game with a bunch of mini games with different controls. Obviously, that's, Atari games are like that. Uh, that's true. You could, and, and lots of games do that. Like, well, one game, the button fires. The other game, the button jumps. Um, and that would definitely test your your memory, if, especially if it doesn't say it on the screen. 2600 game rarely says what you have to do on the screen because there's, there's no there's no room for that no room for a lot of explanations uh, 1260 I think you did better last time oh I did yeah there's no point writing that down but doing it intentionally might be fun yeah yeah mini games would be a good uh, a good application for each game controls very differently and it goes from minigame to minigame quickly. I'm actually, like, I'm... Not sure. I, I like worry, like, if a game has controls that are contrary to what I have practiced, I might not even play it at all. Not Maybe not if, contrary, but... No, they're, but you if have to, they're contrary. If they're yeah, not if, contrary, then it's fine. But if they're actually contrary, like, the way you move oh, it's is substantially different from what I do. It's not just because it's frustrating. It's because I don't want to unwire what I've spent time wiring. And yes. I'm, I'm not joking. Like, like oh, that's I true. have I have had... Uh, oh, that's what it is. I've had games where later on you can, like, change your buttons. Like, I think mm. WoW. I played WoW, and you end up using lots of buttons because you have all sorts of powers you want to use. Yeah. And then I would move them into a position that was more efficient technically, but I knew how they worked before, and so then I was just garbage. <laughs> I think it was WoW, but I'm not sure. Like, for a while. Uh, for a long time, until I got used to it or whatever. Yeah, and think... actually, that's one of the things that slowed me, that would that keeps me from getting right into, like, WoW or games like that again, is because I had to know so much, and it's been a while since I played, and so I literally can't play yeah. the way that I used to, because I just my fingers don't know where, where the buttons it's, are anymore. I don't have the setup I used to have. It's, call it, it's muscle memory. That's what it is. Yeah, it's muscle memory, and I don't 
Well, just, it's like the muscle memory is still there, but the knowledge of how I had my muscle memory set up isn't mm. because I don't do it anymore. Oh, your specific layout. Yeah, my you... specific layout's gone, and I don't actually know what it is. My muscles do, but I don't. <laughs> so you're pressing buttons that don't do anything. Yeah, I like, have the instinct, thing. oh, I, I need to press this to escape, and I don't have, or I don't have that power yet. Because <laughs> after a while, when you're playing a game, you're not thinking about the controls anymore. Yeah, they're, you're just they're doing. ingrained. Yeah, and, and just, that's the point you're you're aiming for when you're trying to do when yeah. you're trying to get good at it. When you get to a point in a game, you know you're you're half decent when you don't have to think about controls. You're part of the game. You're directly controlling your character. Yeah, that's what happened with Vision Superstar. X. God damn it! Like it it's crazy. really hard at first, and then. You kind of figure out a thing and you know how to deal with the stuff. And then things that used to be like seemingly impossible are mundane. Yeah, and you can yeah. just, you know, walk through it. Oh, yeah. 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 It, it, I talk about that game more than anybody wants to hear. <laughs> uh, but the progression is like really it. good. Like it scales up and you were all for a long time. You keep running into things and you're like, I'm never going to I'm never going to be good enough to defeat this. This is insane. <laughs> but. Oh, yeah. You, you just eventually you get to it you know and That's, the game the end is the end is hard enough that like yeah there's that, always a chance you'll fail that's what i talk about with activision patches i go oh, i'll never beat this and then i figured something out yeah then i go oh okay well then i'll then it gets harder and i get to a harder level and then i go oh, okay i can't beat that then eventually i do beat the get the patch Anybody notice I put After Dark at the top of the screen now? Oh, it's not on there. <laughs> Nobody noticed, I'm betting. <laughs> it's, on, it's on the other screen. I have to put it to uh, the other screen. Ah, uh, that looks good. Yeah. It looks like it's like hanging there or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right in front of us. Yeah. You just need to somehow get it behind us. Uh, yeah. That involves a green screen. And taking a picture of my wall. Ugh. That was a terrible, terrible don't go again. I, I, I pass on. I I can see my time. I really could just take a picture of your wall. People, I've, I've seen yeah, yeah. shows that do that. That's very good. That's very good. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. Of course, we have to do it in a different room because the greens, there's no room for a green screen behind here. Mm -hmm. There's not enough distance to make it work properly. Could do no, it no, no, here's totally what you do. Pretend here's, in the room. here's what you do. You take. Um, oh, even if your wall was green, I guess you're saying we're too close. We're too close. There's shadows and it would be terrible. What I was going to say is that you only have to take a picture of your wall and then you can just tear it all down and never. You don't even have to put the stuff back up. <laughs> but I like all the stuff. <laughs> it's actually decoration. And then you just have a green wall. <laughs> That's a reason not to do it because then you would have no excuse to have that stuff there. Because you have a photo of it and snap it on every green wall. <laughs> <laughs> then I can change it. Anyway. You know what the best solution be the is? Get Tanya to make one, an after dark thing, just like she did with the zero page homebrew. Very true. She yeah. could. She's got the it's, purple. It's a lot more work. Got purple. Yeah, but it's work that Tanya has to do. <laughs> <laughs> got a new, uh, <laughs> uh, a new thing for you to do, Tanya. It's, uh, it's going to be lots of fun. It's a new sign. We I hang it up beat. every time. There's After Dark. <laughs> It'll only take you a month or so to, to finish. Yeah, full time. <laughs> she might, yeah, she no, might it doesn't even, take that She long. might not even be that angry about it. No. She, she could just like use like a cloudy, that. smoky resin. Yeah. So, I, you told me before, why do we not have the Zero Page Homebrew lit? Is it because it's too bright or too dark? Uh, neither of those. Oh, it's not bright enough for Lightroom and not dark enough for a no, That's not the dark issue. No? Okay. Uh, the issue is that the power uh, makes a buzzing sound. Oh. And I've done research on it, and they all make buzzing sounds. Where's the power? Is Unless, it in the thing, or is it's it a... a battery power thing. Yeah. Uh, the transformer, whatever it's called. Yep. Unless you spend a lot of money on it. No, no. It's buzzing. That... You just put that outside the room. You want the table? long, long cable? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's wire. There's wires that would hang down though. Yeah. Yeah. I, 
Oh, oh no, not wires in your room. The other solution is... <laughs> I know. You've done a good job, but I've they've never hidden, been eliminated. I've hidden most of them. <laughs> uh, the other solution is to wrap it in something so it can't make noise. Moonbeam Arcade used to have a similar sign. What? They had a ZPH sign? <laughs> no, here's what, here, here's the thing. Because, like, this is actually worth doing. Yeah. Because you could, you could use the same power supply and yeah. have it, like, over somewhere. Else. Upstairs or something. This is your house. You could drill a hole in the wall. <laughs> I could. I always like to talk about other people drilling holes in their walls. <laughs> you could uh, drill a huge your, hole. Who owns this house? Is it you? It is. It's you. You could do it. Um, uh, within reason. But you could you could set up a power supply elsewhere that power, and then you could have a, you could change these up every year or two. I could. And you wouldn't have to redo the fancy power supply because you would could use the same one every time. True. It's also possible. Or I can talk, plug, plug it into mains. It's it, yeah, it, which gets oh, rid of the problem. Oh, that's might as well do that. Sorry, that is. You said it's batteries. It's yeah, batteries. plug it. Yeah, I I have a power supply that takes. No, it goes from five volt. But you would plug it into USB. Oh, okay. And then I bet that's five. Volt. I bet it's only five. Volt. If it's five, it's then it, you won't. You just need to plug it into USB to begin with. But if it's twelve, I have. I have little, I have a whole bunch of little converters. Nice. They convert from five volts to twelve, or from. 12. I have one that you put your inputs. You can pick. <laughs> yeah. Within a, 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 a range. range. Yeah. A range. It's bigger, but who cares, right? People use range. that for uh, video game systems too, where there's yeah. certain ranges and they have little different tips, and you can get the adapters for the tips and different sizes. If it would use more current than USB, but it wouldn't use more current than USB, a USB charger. It might use more than the half an amp thing that is supposed to come out of your computer. Right. It's supposed to be 500 milliamps, but it, uh, it can go higher depending on the. If your computer, your computer is less likely to go higher, but the chargers they go way up. Whatever you can put on them. Yeah. Yeah. But originally it was supposed to be 500 milliamps. That's yes, why when you plug your phone into your computer, often it takes like a forever to charge. Yeah. Okay. I am. Uh, I have beat my old score. Sweet. By ten points. After dark sign. After dark. Oh, the after dark sign. Oh, okay. So they had an after dark. After Dark is such a common, common name for a show. It's funny. There's, I, I watch another one that's called After Dark. Too. What? Twice in a row? <laughs> Mess me up. I blame it on you. 2960, my best so far. Even from the old. Do I get like, credit for you beating the, the... I only get credit for you not beating it, but... Yes. I can only interrupt. Thank you, Patoko. Well, not the name, the sign itself. Oh, oh, the look of it. Oh, okay, not the name. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... It, it's got the same uh, kind of pink, pinkish color. And that's... Uh, do they actually have that sign, too? Where's all their videos? The last one was four years ago. Maybe they just keep it on the channel. Twenty-nine sixty. What is the lowest thing? It was like four thousand. I know I can do better because I was I was uh, able to play on that level. I mean, the fifth place person is forty-five eighty. I 
I've been tempted to go through all my old shows and um, write down every single score from every single game we ever played and just keep track of the high scores because it's so much easier. But I don't need to call on them that often. It's easy enough just to scrub through old shows. Go, okay, there's my score. Rather than write down whatever 300 shows every single game. Like, I'd have to look through almost all of the footage because it's like, oh, when did I peak my score? Was it halfway through the show? Halfway through playing that game? Or did I stop when I had my highest score? Usually I don't stop when I have my highest score. It's like, oh, I can do better. Just a little bit better. And then I don't. And then I quit. It's usually two games after my top score. When I do worse and then worse again. And then I go, uh, I'm just getting worse. Which is also helpful for finding my top score. And I just go two games back. <laughs> watching a video the other day about upscalers. Actually, it wasn't about upscalers. It was about video capture devices because I have issues with my video capture device. And they were talking about the FrameMeister in conjunction with the capture hardware capture device that I have. Uh, and, oh God. And they were saying that... I blame it, the yellow. <laughs> the yellow it's background. Alarming. Pardon me, it's just too alarming. <laughs> it's freaking me out, man. And they were saying they were having trouble with it cutting out as well. The same issue that I had. And then they got the retro tank, and, which keeps a very, very stable picture on the triple buffer. And it didn't have that problem anymore. So hopefully when I get the retro tank, uh, it'll solve. Oh, press the button. Press the button. And it must have been. I oh. pressed the button before I got hit. Oh, and it carried over to it the It carried down. over to. to I and think it was, it was 1850 like, you got. No, it was 2000 something. Was it? Yeah, because I was like, wow. Oh, wow. Anybody but it, see was, it? it wasn't much above 2000. Right. So oh, because rewind. you got 18 and then it gave you the bonus for the 18 something or whatever. When, uh, be, be, before I died, yeah, yeah. I'd already have done it 2000. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Good run. Anybody 2005 or something. Let's put them at 2000. Or 2005. You can't have 2000. That's not a problem. Then it was 2050. 50. Yeah, I think that's a double score. There, I, I don't know if you know this tale of uh, it was an old school game player arcade game player and back in the day they would just kind of believe people with their scores oh yeah they wouldn't verify them very much and there was a high score that somebody had forever and it was super high nobody even came close to it and it was in you know the records where they keep them mm -hmm. and then really recently and it was really weird that nobody caught on to it that they looked at the score and they said that score is impossible literally impossible literally impossible not that it was hard that it was impossible to get with the points that you get in the game like say the points were you get 100 points for this 50 points for this and he had 2 million blah 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 20 points and like, you couldn't get 20 points. You can't get 20 That's points. So fine. And it's so weird that it took so long for somebody to recognize that. They just didn't even analyze it. because. Well, also, someone might have thought it and then thought, oh, interesting. I wonder how you get 20 points. Right. Or, I think that's wrong, but I'm not going to challenge it because obviously they would. They, it's you official. Know, and yeah, that's yeah. a good player, and nobody's going to mess with it. And but the thing is, the you can just trust people so long as they don't think you're just trusting them. <laughs> as long as they don't know. Yeah. As long as they, are, so long as they believe that there's some verification. Uh, yes. But of 
course. And it was a huge... Some people are going to assume that there isn't fear. And it was a huge scandal, and I think all of his scores got taken down. I can't remember who it was or what game it was. I'm sure some people in the chat remember. And so there was, there was a big uproar, and, and a bunch of people's scores got questioned. A lot of the old school scores that were not, like, filmed or officiated properly, they're just, like, all clean and all white. Twin Galaxies that the score was on, so they lost a lot of reputation points at that point. But I think they, they earned them back because they got rid of a lot of people's scores. I can't remember what level I was on. Six? Six or seven? Where I got my last one? I, so I don't know fast. what level you were on. The, the points must go up real quick if you were on six or seven. There's someone in the chat thing on Facebook there, the top one was that they got 4,000 points and they've gotten to level 10. I don't think... Well, what happens with the points? Are they... Do if you, you get to whatever, it's always the same, right? It's always the same. You could just say, I got to level 10.1 if you had that timing. You know what I mean? Oh, I guess yeah. it's the same, it's like... It's screenshots, though. They have to, they have to submit screenshots. Yeah, yeah. But what I mean is that the points is time. Yes. Like, like you could is. literally calculate, the, like where you got to. 10. You could get to the which arrow you jumped or missed or yep. got died on. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm assuming that I don't. No. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. There's no, even if it ramped up. Yeah. Because you you can't miss. It's not like a video game where there's ships and they fly off. Oh, I missed that guy. I missed the hundred points. You cannot miss the hundred points. There's an even. There's a specific number of arrows every level. Right? So this okay. this is one of those games where you know exactly what level you died on. Because uh, unless, unless, when you die, you'll have to watch. Does it reset the level when you die? No. It, you continue. it doesn't. It doesn't okay. because I've cleared a level shortly at see, 2270. So you'd always get 2270 at level 5. Click. And I stopped paying always. attention just before... So I was just before level five clear, I guess. Oh, so you cleared level five and then you died did jump to twenty-two. Se no, no, no. What I'm saying is I must oh. have died just before level five clear mm. because you got twenty-two seventy and I was. I don't. I believe I was two zero something. So you get a hundred points extra for a level. Okay. And but ten points were... for each. Yeah. Ten points for each arrow. So if you're around that mark, then yeah. the 2,000, and you got killed immediately. So you should have exactly that score. But I didn't go to the level clear. I went, I died before the level clear of five, is what I'm saying. Oh, you died at the beginning of level five? In, oh, no, like before reaching the level clear, because I was at 2-0 something, not 2-7-0. Two, two, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that makes sense. You were in the 2,000s. I mean, it's all verifiable afterwards by looking at the video. Again. Very true. However, we it's provide, not important. We provide the best evidence that it's oh, it's uh, far. Terrible. What is the top score then? Six thousand. Oh, okay. That's ridiculous. So nobody's gotten to level twenty then. No. <laughs> level twenty is hard. Only with an emulator and save states. Oh, so people only got to that screen that said that screen you were showing at the beginning by using save states? Mega cheaters. Well, it's only cheating if you don't declare what you're doing. Sure. If the purpose is to get to the end, then they succeeded. Like, I didn't cheat at the memory game. I was I was trying to figure it out. You're card counting. But, like, with not, not, not intending to oh, trick people it. into thinking... That I have a good memory. <laughs> oh, 29. Yeah, it's less than just uh. 60 less than that. <laughs> I I can do better. I died some on some terrible ones there. See, this is the uh, example of what you were saying, where it sucks when you have to start oh, over. It so bad. It's actually hard jumping these because you have to time it. It's Ducking's only hard bad. because you got so far, and it becomes hard. Yes. 
It's like it was actually easier well, when you started. Well, no, you can only jump for so long. So if you jump too early, you'll hit that arrow. Yeah, but it's moving slower, so you it's easier to not jump too early. Easier to do the time. Yeah, the points must ramp up because I had less than 500. Well, we'll see. We'll see 410. If it's 820. Oh, here we go. If you lose a life and have another life remaining, the last spear will be repeated so you know where to look here. So there are repeating spears. Only so one. Only one per life. But is it the one that killed you? In which case, it's not a repeat. <laughs> it is the one you, that killed you. Because you, get, you didn't get points for it when you died. True. That is true. That is absolutely true. So, yeah, it still holds. It still holds. See, I got less than points in the second. I'm still less than double what I got in the first round. Mm. Mm -hmm. The number of arrows may change per level then. Maybe uh, more arrows. It may be a, by time, and because the arrows go faster, you get a, a couple more arrows. But I got less in the second round. Less points. Fewer points. When I oh. finished it, I had seven something, and when I finished the first one, it was four ten. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe you lose points when you die. Oh, I'll watch for that. There's ten ninety, so that was even less. That was <laughs> that was less than three hundred. That. Oh, it's one of those games. Those are the worst. The higher the level you go, the less but, points you get. But you had over 2,000 yeah. when you got to level 5. When you finished level 5. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I can't explain it. I'd have to write all this down. It, it plainly... It doesn't say how many arrows, though. And it, and it just says the points you get. It doesn't say there's anything about timing, how long each level is... See your score before you died. So. Level 4, 1370. So now, in order to get to 2270 at the end of level 5, I need 900 points. Yeah. That seems right, because you get 400 something. But I'm this, is, I'm this is level 4. <laughs> I cleared level 4. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's not going to be very easy then. Well, no, you're only getting 10 points per arrow. There's something else going on. <laughs> Let's see if I get 410 on the first level. Yeah. But the first level is not a good example because it's easy enough to die. Do you remember the score on the second level? Uh, seven something. With less than 820. Yeah, that's the weird part. <laughs> and then it was even less on the third round. They're, sh they're sending less arrows. That's the only explanation because it says you get 100 points for completing a level. It's not going to be... Maybe it's 100 points per guy? That didn't die? Oh. It doesn't say that, but that's a possibility. Because I swear you got a big bonus when you uh, finished that level 5. Could be it. So 410. That could be ex the explaining part of it. Yes, 100 bonus points per life. I'll try to pay attention to your score. Yeah. I'm only looking at your score. I'm not looking at the arrows anymore. <laughs> They're distracting. That's for sure. The Rising Temple is such a great effect. Yeah. You, you went from 540 to 840. So that explains it. Yeah. It must be 100 points. Oh, there it is. Yeah, for every team member alive. Yeah. I didn't know. 
and and that properly. means 300 versus 100 if you're on your last guy. So it's better to just keep all your lives. If you want, to, if you want the top score, uh, and you don't need practice, you should quit after you lose a guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Unl un unless you're really far into it. You know? Yeah. Right. You're already doing awesome. I mean, that's a, a good way to do it. To get to get that bonus. It's. The better it means you, you are. Doing, yeah, it means you're doing better. Yeah. The better you are, the more sure. points you get. The, the I don't like I don't like the, the fact that we are discussing what the correct strategy uh, you should quit if you lose guys. <laughs> that tell that makes me think like I've that done that in games. There's something wrong with it. Yeah. But I've done that in other games. But you've done it in other games because Don't you wreck don't my score, Cap. Because you don't want to have less guys because you might not get as far. But True. the fact that like there's the that's no one um, reason and there's another reason because you get no. fewer points. No, no, on uh, Beam Rider, it, it it calculates bonuses the same way, and I'm like, if right, I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But it does work both ways. It's like, yeah, I died early. Why would I ever do that? Yeah. Yes, I know. Love, love. I don't know objectively what the best situation is, but. It does, yeah, if you lo lost a guy and now you just don't get any points, you can't do anything about it. It's not the same as like building up a bonus and when you die, you lose your bonus and you have to build it up again. Because mm. then you can build it up again, you know? Yes. And there's usually another way you can lose your bonus, not just by dying or whatever, right? Yeah, some games you can build it up. This one, it's 5,000 points for your first extra I'm life. I'm not saying they should redo this game. I'm just saying, like, we're analyzing the game mechanics because that's what we do in this game. Yeah, it's and very important. And mechanics are fair game, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, I have an opinion, so. Yeah. See you, Thrust. Have a good sleep. Have a good sleep. Thanks for tuning in on your vacation time. Yeah. As he said, you might not be able to make it because uh, it's vacation time in yep. Germany. Um... Some countries have, like, the whole country goes on vacation. Like, it's... God uh -oh. damn it! It's like vacation time. And if you go on... If you go on vacation to that country, you're going to be in for a, a rough time. It's not the source are open. Uh, or they're limited capacity. Or only half of them are open. Or so I Wasted my rage quit. Because <laughs> if I passed this level, I could have gotten tons of points. Tons of bonus. Instead, I get training him wrong. What you should do instead of petting him is give him a shock collar and when your hand is touching the joystick, <laughs> he gets he gets a zap. Daddy's busy. <laughs> zap. Hi, daddy. I'm only kidding. I wouldn't do that. So he ran away. He was like, are you serious? Always looking Sir, for right. treats. You see that? Did you see that? Ooh, there are treats up there. You can bring down the bell if you want. Play the treat game. Oh, I'm not stupid. He, I'm not stupid. That's training him. That's training him to know that I might give him a treat. And then... Oh, he's he's over there. Oh, I, I see. You should have given him treats. I would have distracted him. I Which think you should I give him treats. Treat? Yep. 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 Uh, you give him. No, I'm not doing it. Why? I just told you I'm not a sucker. <laughs> I don't want to train them to think that I'm going to give them snacks. Nope, you have to give them treats, and they're going to be very sad when you don't. No, that's you. You give them treats. Oh, he performed the thing. He did the... Know. Oh, he's wondering why Darcy's not giving he's him treats. He's wondering why James, who knows the rules, oh. isn't giving him treats. Oh. Maybe do it. 
<laughs> Cat disgusting or something. It's does uh, only does Pixel do it or is this Atari? No, Pixel's too smart. He's like, Atari will do it, and I get fed anyway because it would be unfair if I didn't get fed. It wouldn't be unfair. It would in fact be entirely fair. We You're tried. not gonna do the work. We tried. He would he's he just, just doesn't like, care. He doesn't care enough about the trees. He's too cool. He's like Fuzz. Super cool. He's a lot like Fuzz. Yeah. Yeah, too cool for school. Like Fuzz, he like Fred. If he wanted to open the door, he would try. Look at that. He's not even going after that. He would try. Yeah, because it's too far away. And it's too cool for school. <laughs> um, he would try to open the door until the door was open, or well, he wouldn't stop because the door didn't open yet, so he would continue. <laughs> um, but Fuzz would give the door a try. He would do the thing you need to open the door. But if it didn't open, he'd be like, no, eh. no, no, no. I'm not gonna not, look stupid. Not I'm not gonna look stupid trying to get the door open. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he says too cool for school, because he doesn't want to look dumb. He's don't, more afraid of looking dumb than he is for, for trying to open the door and it doesn't open than he is about looking dumb because he didn't try to open the door until it opened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have, I get two more games. If I beat my old score, one more game gets added to that. If I don't beat it... You're, you're making a game of your game yes. gaming. Game, yeah, I am. Gaming the game game. Game lives. Yeah. Because I have, I got worse a worse score last time. So that means, whereas the cat was distracting me because he was over there and begging for treats. Oh, can you put that back up on the shelf? You will definitely haunt that forever <laughs> until it opens. Oh, he sees it now. Oh my God, he's a bad cat. I put it on the, the double high shelf. Ah. But he only needs to reach the bell. He doesn't. That he is doesn't, true. He doesn't get the the treats directly. He gets them through <laughs> through use of the bell, <laughs> which Wait, is waiter. Awesome. Bring me my treats. Bring up the lean on my treats. Azura says, "Forgot today was at noon. It's a Darcy day. It's a noon day. It's a noon day. It's Every a noon. second week is a Darcy day." This is probably one of the earliest games I bought, uh, homebrew games. So I saw it and went, yep, that's mine. <laughs> I want that one. It's a really, really good port. It is. It's yeah. perfect. It's got all the elements. It's got a, and it's got a shadow too, the rising mm -hmm. thing. Um, it doesn't have him falling away to the side, which they do have the graphic for, um, because when you got shot with an arrow on the C64, he would have the arrow stuck in his side, mm -hmm. and he would kind of fall off the screen. Mm -hmm. um, there's no real reason they couldn't do it on this one. They, they have the graphic in here when you get shot in your side. And they just don't continue on with them going off the screen. This takes a lot of time to do it. It's, I don't like it's it pretty fast. To, like, wait, so. It's pretty fast. I don't remember it being a pain in the ass on the C64 version. Of course, you don't have to do this over and over and over and over again. Well, it goes up. It, it does loop. Well, like I, I, like I was saying with Vision Superstar X, uh, when what you, game? When, Vision Superstar X. Uh, when you die, <laughs> you're punished by having to wait several seconds for the this this the screen to like fade out with your score on it if you, if you hammer the button. Well, that's your punishment. I know you shouldn't die. I know. Be mad every time. Like, ah! uh, I have to wait for this death sequence. Unless it's been a really long game, but like it used to be really annoying. I'd like play, <laughs> play like a few screens and then I had to wait and I, I felt punished. Then you don't die as much now. Yeah, it's true. It worked then. Negative, yeah, now I mostly negative finish. reinforcement. 
not most of the time. <laughs> Unless I put it on an insane mode, and then, like, it doesn't matter what you do, there's a chance that you're going to die. <laughs> like, there's just... You have to get past a certain point before insane mode becomes, like... Damn it! Oh, every time on this level, it's just a bit fast. Something about this level. It must be hard. Oh, it is hard. It's very fast. I mean, it's not any harder than any other level. It is. I, in terms of, like, tactics. You just duck and jump. But it's just so fast, you don't have time to react. Okay, you added another player. I did indeed. Slower. slower and bigger so like oh that's awesome so it, that was the reset level I, but it's not first level uh damn it. it's not first level oh, no. uh slow yeah it, it's like i think the way it works is that the it gets faster and the arrow gets smaller and then it gets bigger and slows down a little bit mm. and then it it's like the faster it gets the smaller the arrow gets and then when it makes the arrow big again it slows down a little bit mm. so you can get used to that stuff. see there's the graphic for when he dies and we just need yeah. to go off the screen so i still have two games I have to beat that score now. i think that's going to be my uh my gamifying your uh replays yeah and my how many, high score how many continue well. how many two. continues do you get just two. Oh, I'm saying that that's what this. Oh, is. you're gamifying how many continues you get. Yes, how many quarters I have in my pocket. <laughs> Every time you beat your previous high score, you get another quarter. I get rewarded with a quarter in my pocket. <laughs> I don't know who's giving me these quarters, but it, I don't know. Maybe it's like a one arm bandit you get rewarded because I got the high score. It's a free game. If you beat the top score, you get a free game. That's that's it. I start with two quarters, and if I don't make it, I lose one of them. If I do get the top score, then I get awarded a free game. I think that's a good way, because it that's usually how it plays out, like I was saying. I get better, 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 and then I start sucking, and it gets worse and worse and worse, because I have reached my arc. And that is a respectable score. It's in the 3,000s. I would like to get in the 4,000s. All I need to do is not die on that level. Level 6. Whatever it is. It's level 6? Good TV shows or movies lately, Darcy. Same video that is not important. Oh, <laughs> went to the effort of doing the thing, so I'm gonna send it. Might as um, send it eh? Let's see. Some comedy stuff. Okay. Uh, I think you should leave, which is ridiculous. And I, I had to watch the whole of the first season. <laughs> had to. No, I had to watch the whole of the first season before I started to like sort of know what to expect and be able to find it humorous and not get weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sometimes I, I, it takes a although while. Although I did... I'm not saying I didn't laugh in the first season. I'm just saying that a lot of it was just... It's just so ridiculous <laughs> that, like, you have to be primed for the t sort of humor, right? Were you the person that was saying, oh, let's give it give it a chance, let's watch to the end, or was Tamara like... I think we were both <laughs> laughing enough that we were like, yeah, we're going to watch this. Yeah. yeah. I although gave up Tamara on that one did after the first episode. <laughs> Uh, it is ridiculous. You're not wrong. But <laughs> here's the thing. For Tamara, what changed was that she heard comedians say that it was brilliant. Oh. And then she was like, okay, if they think it's funny, that it probably is funnier. And then she gave it another try. That's, yeah, that's an interesting thing. 
when filmmakers find a film good or a filmmaker good or comedians find another comedian or something funny good mm -hmm. it's usually a little different than everything else yeah it's it's not it's definitely not mainstream it doesn't actually mean that it's better but it, no. what it means is that there's an aspect to it that is brilliant they but find you it have clever. to you have to be expert enough and you have to be into the thing enough to yeah. get it it's yeah. just like anything it's, it's like, like if you look at a video game and we're reviewing a game and sometimes uh, especially early on people are like oh my god did you see that thing it's amazing and i'm like yeah that was really good <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but, like, you know why that was special because you know why it's hard to do or whatever. Right, right on and that platform same thing. or something, yeah. And I've seen that with, there's this one, there was this one musician guy, and all these musicians were like, oh my god, this guy is brilliant. <laughs> but the guy, they, and they tried to get him a career, but they could right. never get anything going because it's you, not pop music. Because you didn't get it. Oh! You, like, you, me, anyone normal's not going to get it because it just is weird. Yeah. There was a movie that I watched recently called The Sparks Brothers. Or the Sparks. The Sparks Brothers. Um, and they had a whole ton of musicians. I don't know if I'm talking is making me die or not, but I don't think so. They had a whole bunch of musicians that were like, these guys are the best. These are the guys that all the musicians look up to. And I'm, I'm like, the music's very creative, but it's not mainstream I don't think I, I can talk the thing is it's like it's like it's one of my lives it's the last one mainstream it doesn't have to be completely mainstream but like yeah. it's the thing about like with writing for instance uh, formula or not formula and yeah. when you when you boil it down you if you aren't using some sort of for formula you are doing it wrong not because you should follow formula, but because ultimately the there's, thing that there's an expected uh, language of film or writing that people it's partly learned, but there's also like like there if you yeah it's like you make a promise and then if you don't keep it mm -hmm. people are disappointed and they don't they're like what the hell is this right yeah they may not know why it's they don't like it but they know something is yeah. wrong yeah yeah. And it's like, if you're doing it just for yourself, then of course. But in that case, don't complain when people don't like it because yes. you did it for yourself and uh, you like and, it and, and you like it. And if that really is enough for you, then that's fine. Yeah. But if you want is for other people like it, you, it's not selling out because like a lot of the time people who don't like learn about the formula or any of that stuff, they don't learn about it. They just write sort of like what feels right. Yeah. They end up doing it. And that's why people like it is because it's kind of natural, you well, know, it's like ingrained. It's like, oh, this, yeah. this thing has to happen, and this thing, and this has to pay off, and yeah. there has to be, yeah, an arc. And Learning about it, you could like maximize those things. You could be like, oh well, uh, I mostly got it, but this, this, it doesn't seem like it, but this element maybe interfered, and this element would heighten the whatever, you know. But yeah, yeah just sort of generally follow. And it's like that with all the stuff. Yeah. And if you, if what you do is really creative from a certain perspective, and again, these none of the, you know the everybody has is entitled to their opinion. This is what they're talking about. It's not about facts. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's about art. That's yes, where it applies. Art. Like yeah. art. Like you are entitled to your art, opinion. When art it comes is to art. subjective. It is. It is, and I nobody's guess. right and nobody's wrong. You you have to you have to set parameters if you want to say someone's wrong. You have to say they're wrong from this perspective, or whatever. You have to you have to like arrange that ahead of time if you want to say somebody is wrong. I'm sure there's and objectively it's a, and it's art good not. art that people will not like. It's like well, it followed exactly this formula of the like you feed the a computer the top 100 movies and analyze uh, beat points, plots, character types. Yeah, but they're not, the, 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 you are right that if you, I'm sorry, I don't think that's true. I think no. if a computer, the computers aren't analyzing all the points, they're analyzing the points that they can analyze. Yeah. But if they analyze all the points, that they would succeed. You could feed it bad movies and say, don't do this too. Yeah, but like the the thing is, the computer can't yet get all the points that matter. 
But so what they, it's like a lot of things where we draw conclusions from correlation. And the reason we do that is that it often works. It works a lot. But uh, when you draw like a hard conclusion, like a, like a everyone must do this uh, conclusion, you end up screwing the pooch at least some of the time because, well, correlation isn't causation. We all know that. Um, God damn it! I'm, think, I'm listening. To but you end up. No, okay. I'll stop. Then you can talk. Time. You can talk, but I just won't be listening. Unfortunately. <laughs> Anyways, blah blah blah. <laughs> blah blah blah. Darcy talks about stuff. That was some another thing you watched. Have we been watching movies? Oh, or TV Rick and shows? Morty, of course, because it's funny mm -hmm. and it's still funny. Um, like I haven't never, I haven't seen a, a Rick and Morty episode that I didn't uh, think was funny. Like you could, it's it's one of those shows where you could say, oh, is this show as good as other episodes? Sure. But I haven't seen one that is bad. There Damn are some it. that are there are some that are better than others. Let's see. We have watched some stuff. So that's the thing that's Oh, we watched Tattoo Redo. It's like Tattoo Redo. Yeah, people so it's like covering people, over tattoos. People getting their tattoos. <laughs> Laser off. I'm <laughs> <listening. laughs> uh, People people getting their tattoos covered over and they have some like in some cases they're really bad tattoos and in some cases they're bad for them but like right they they're not on. as horrible for other people or whatever or they're faded no i'm gonna do one more sometimes and i'm not gonna you don't follow the rules seat. you're not a rule breaker you're not a rule follower I'm uh, not a rule. uh so i got pretty close for instance this One woman had a big tattoo on her lower back that said F you, but not <laughs> two letters, or all four letters. Um, <laughs> and it was like amateurishly done. Uh, and she has like five kids. <laughs> She's like, this is not a good. Now it's time to get and, rid of it. And she had it, she got it when she was like 14. Oh my. God. <laughs> because somebody had a tattoo machine. But she's already has five kids. She like, does now. It's think, been a long... Well, it costs money to get... It was big. Uh, it, it was really big, and it cost money. Tattoos and, are cheaper than non-tattoos than getting rid of them, for sure. I'm sure lasering well, is more expensive. Uh, yeah, lasering, it's also, like, long and painful. Yeah. Um, multiple sessions. And multiple sessions, right? Uh, the, the Getting the tattoo done over top... The, the thing about the mm. show is that they're getting it done over the top, and the tattoo artists that they're getting, they're like top notch. Like the one guy does Grand like the, yeah, the the Japanese type tattoos, uh, where it's like full body tattoos, nice. and all of his look like amazing, you know. And so they end up even when they get a tattoo, and you're like, oh, I don't know, if, like is getting this like tattoo that's like five times the size of the thing that it's covering is that the right decision <laughs> and here's the, the hook of the, the show is that so you don't get to pick your tattoo the person that brought you in so you come in with your friend and the friend's like what? yeah your tattoo is terrible and then the friend or parent or or husband picks what it is what and in some cases the reason they have a bad tattoo is someone else chose the tattoo they got and we're right. like is yeah. this really is this really an improvement is this not how you got into trouble in the first place but it's always a good tattoo artist right? it always ends up being you're like even when it, this one person had one on their neck but it wasn't on the like above the collar okay. and so they end up getting this tattoo and now it's above the collar at the back right they had long hair and whatever i'm sure it's fine but and we're like i don't know if that's a good decision but then you see the tattoo and you're like okay it's like really well done so i think there was one where i thought mm, yeah i i i I, I think i think they're not better off their, their one they had before was not great either but this oh. one's like bigger and like darker so they and like have. more obvious and i kind of think and it also wasn't as pretty as they often are it is possible though because they liked it it is possible that it actually looked better in person you know how that, yeah. that can be um, but most of them they were clearly better mm. uh, than what they had been and in some cases it's like wow yeah you just like leveled up seriously leveled up like mm. the uh, i imagine tattoos can be really expensive you know like these are oh, uh, tattoo ones. artists they, they could probably like oh. name their price you know yeah you can um, go from 100 to probably 10,000 you know yeah and so they're they're probably getting tattoos that they would never 
I mean, of course, I don't think they're so expensive that they could never afford them. Because we're not talking about full body tattoos right. or anything. Right. But they are probably so expensive that they never would pay for them. You know, like they are mm. getting something they wouldn't otherwise get. That's where, like, sometimes you see something like that and you're like, yeah, that person's getting value. You know, like if you win, if you win something that costs like a hundred bucks, it's not life changing. Mm. But if it's a thing that you would never spend a hundred dollars on, and you like it, like you would make what might be the wrong decision and not spend a hundred dollars on it, then it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's where the best gifts come in. If you can find something that some like someone likes, and you know they're not going to spend the money on it. But you also know that they will use it or what have you. Like, I'm dumb sometimes, and I won't get the thing that I would get a lot of use out of. And I'm also dumb the other way, and I'll buy things that I imagine I will get lots of use out of. <laughs> okay, here's the hard level. It is hard. Yeah, no, you're... Like, those things are whizzing at you. It's not surprising. to the easy part. It, it is. It, it's so much slower. It's so much slower. And yet you died. I know. So it's not Because I wasn't easy. prepared for the slowness of it, I guess. It's too easy. Something's wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're moving so fast god. that there's like blur on your LCD. <laughs> <Yes>. like, <laughs> <laughs> so that um, I will retire on. Uh, 34 so, Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because you were playing and then when you died, I could I could I could hear in the joystick the terror that had gripped you. <laughs> and then each jump that you succeeded at, I could hear it receding a little bit. It was a little less terror. And then yes. I was like, okay, he's back in the groove. Now. Yeah. I could hear yeah. like the joystick being normal. <laughs> and you of course still had some of that sound. terror in you. Oh. But yeah. like it wasn't it wasn't high enough to like affect your joystick noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they give you one level of reprieve. Then it's right back to craziness. Like it's a wet that was way faster than Oh, yeah, yeah. Level six. Oh, the pink one is... Bad yeah, news. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, the level that you were having difficulty with, it's not surprising. Like, it, it was, like, markedly worse. And two, two games ago, there was a fly in the room. And it was flying around the area where those... On level six, where those little arrows were going, and I was mistaking it for those arrows. <laughs> not enough to jump but or duck, but it, yeah, it was like... Ah, yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. Oh, so, uh, I probably could get better than that. Um, everyone... <laughs> Decision made. Yeah. The Good. real cost is that I might start rambling about something. Like <laughs> well, you can, and you should. But on level six, go ahead. Oh! So I bought a sailboat. Yes. Before you get too excited, <laughs> it is not a flashy sailboat. <laughs> it's inexpensive. It's not small. No, it's not small, but it's not like it's old and yeah. therefore uh, reasonably inexpensive. Um, and I have had several things that I've had to fix on it. And one of the things that happened is the fuel tank sprung a leak and filled the bilge full of diesel. 
Oh my god. And, what? Uh, and at first I didn't even know that it was diesel. I thought it was oil that had somehow mixed really good with the water. Because it's like bluish. Oh, it's like yeah. sort of bluish. It doesn't look like oil. The oil from the transfer case is like black, black, black. It's like oh. you look at it and you're like, oh, the bilge has been painted black. It's like black. It's wow. crazy. Even just a thin layer floating on the water, you see nothing through it. It's super black. Wow. Uh, and you put these uh, oil absorbent pads on it, and then suddenly the water looks like pristine, like drinkable, drinkably clean. Wow. It's amazing. It only gets the oil. Oh, it's so good. It doesn't soak up water at all. Wow. And so the thing that confused me is I put those in, and it's, they soaked up immediately, and I was like, why is it soaking up water now? Like, it was not dark. It was like this sort of yellowish, bluish color, and I was like, that's weird. Anyways, I finally figured out that it was diesel. Didn't, it, didn't it smell different? Yeah, but, the, but because of the oil, I already had some diesel smell. Uh, also, diesel does not stink like gasoline. Like, I could smell diesel, and it, I, when I smell diesel, I don't... Like, the, the, the smell of gasoline is horrible. But diesel, it's just like, oh, it smells like a truck. Mm -hmm. It doesn't okay. smell. It doesn't like make me want to puke. It I'm not that gasoline makes me want to puke, but makes gasoline smell makes me feel like it's unclean here, like yeah. it's toxic. Diesel smells. Diesel way just smells better. like uh, oh, it's trucks. It doesn't yeah. smell like toxic. It smells like trucks. Yeah, it just smells like something heavy duty. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, so uh, it wasn't hoses or anything. It, I haven't taken the tank out yet, but I already know because all the fixtures are at the top, and it just kept leaking. I ended up draining it. And it wasn't my priority. I had other things to fix. Um, and it's out of the water, so I drained the diesel out, blah, blah, blah. And a fuel tank is really expensive. Uh, it's 40 years old, like 41 years old, the, the fuel tank. Yeah. And they like... make them thicker now than they used to. So it must have, through vibration or something, sprung a leak. Mm -hmm. And it, I, I suppose you could fix it, but then who knows when it leaks again, right? Oh, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so you can either spend money to replace it or fix it. Um, and it's about a thousand bucks US. For a new one? For a new fuel tank. It's okay. just a box that holds fuel. Anyways. <laughs> but it holds it well. And then Not there's uh, the coolant system. So there's a heat exchanger. So it pumps in salt water. And then you have uh, fresh water that circulates. And the heat exchanger takes the heat out of the cold water, or fresh water, and puts it in the salt water. And the salt water goes overboard. So you. The engine doesn't rust, but. The heat exchanger does, especially if you, don't, or particularly if someone doesn't put in a, a, an anode, yes, which someone had. It wasn't me. Someone. I just got the bug for it. Like this is not something that happens immediately. You know. Uh, I mean, I took the thing out to get access to this to the engine, and I took these little nuts off. Level which I five. Knew, I knew one of them had the anode in it. The the first two nuts came off, and the third one just sort of like broke off. And I looked in and I thought, oh, is that the anode? So I took a screwdriver and I poked it in. There's sort of like a piece of metal and then like a nut that's like welded to it. And I just, I didn't even pry. I just sort of poked at it. And part of the nut just like crumbled off. It was like all pink. And like it's made of mostly copper and it had just corroded. Because the anode had gone and uh, the previous owner hadn't replaced it. Okay. Anyways, level six. Pause. Okay. So that costs about 500 bucks. Yeah. Uh, and then there's another uh, another thing for the um, prop shaft that I would have to get if I was fixing it. That's like almost like close to another 500 bucks. And there's there are other parts here and there and what have you. If I wanted to get the engine running. So instead, I'm going to electrify it because it would cost me two thousand dollars just to get the engine running, and that wouldn't make the engine new. Oh, that would just get make an electric the engine motor yeah oh sweet so like the i 
external parts, many of them would be new, but the engine would still be a question mark. It could run for years or it could like die. And it does have like, it's, it leaks some oil and you know, there's some issues there. So uh, rather than spend money to prop up uh, this system, I'm going to put an electric motor in it. Nice. The big drawback of electric motor, in fact, the only real one, apart from spending money to put something into your boat, which is yeah. money, right? yeah. but that's true of the, the uh, um, gas engine, as I just explained, um, is range. Like, you just, you do not get anywhere near as much range. And so, if I put in, Can like, a Chevy Volt amount of batteries in it, which is a fair amount, it would still only go at hull speed for, like, somewhere between half an hour and 45 minutes. But Ugh. my current setup doesn't go at hull speed, which is 6.7 oh. knots. It goes at five knots. Oh. So, But even at five knots, it's something like an hour and a half or something like that it can go. Uh, Whereas, get from but my diesel, my diesel motor and one tank of fuel, yeah. don't know how long it would last because I used about a quarter of a tank of fuel for like over 10 hours, oh, right? So it goes really far. Yeah. But here's the thing. It's a sailboat, so you can sail when there's wind. Yeah. And more importantly, if you want to slash need to power, you have an outboard. Like you want to have a backup right. engine anyways in case something goes wrong. And I already have the outboard, and it's it, if I could just I just plug that in on the back of my boat, and I've used it, so I already know that it works, and it's actually quite powerful uh, compared. The inboard has 11 horsepower, even though it's like. 10,000 pounds with no people or equipment on it. It's, a, it's pretty heavy. And this 11 horsepower motor was, well, uh, engine was in it. And the outboard's 15, so it actually goes faster. I was going to send you the Linus Tech Tips video on the boat that they recently put all the solar panels on the top roof of it. Mm. And he didn't run the boat with it. Yeah, you, you, it's such you a can't. Small you can't get yeah, it. But he's able to run. Even if you're in, in the Caribbean, you can't run your boat off. He was able to run everything inside in real time on it. He oh, yeah. It yeah. was a lot of power. Yeah. Like speakers, television, uh, navigation, a computer screen, oh, yeah. a TV screen, like a bunch of stuff. But you could, if you had your Volt batteries, you could run your house off of it. Um, yeah. not, not if you're using things like electric heat or what have you, but you could run, you could run an awful lot for, for quite a while. Yeah. Oh, of yeah. What's in a lot of charge. And that's just a Volt, which has a pretty small battery. It's Relatively small. Yeah. For an electric car, it's really small battery. Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway, that's that's really cool. Uh, he never actually arrives at the temple. Well, no, he doesn't. It would be cool if he like kind of ran off towards it, went do -do 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 -do, and got smaller and smaller. But he doesn't do that in the original game. My five-year-old walked in and asked, "What game are they playing?" I said, "It's called ABCS Tech Challenge." I'm not sure what it's about. He said, uh, you have to dodge the arrows that fly at you. Three seconds, you figure out the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. That is the whole game. Is jumping or ducking. Yeah. Uh, it reminds me of the endless runners that were popular a while back. Yeah, this... This is very, very... It's like a third-person view of an endless runner. Not a lot of them have this point of view, but some do. Some do. Uh, this would be like... Very early. This level would be an early example of one. Well, it's sort Except of like it the, does have an end. It's sort of like the uh, is it barnstorm? Barnstorming? Yeah. It's like that. Up or down? Mostly up or down. That one is a little more dynamic because you have to like mm. you have you, to you have to fly up in between holes. It's usually between endless holes. runners are like a button to do something. Or oh yeah. Like not like, a movement. Like uh, like. Just jumping, jumping, jumping ducking, ninja, jumping. wall jump ninja, wall jump ninja. It's it's <sighs> that's it's a one button, more, but it's very similar. Yeah. Usually the endless runners return back to your home position, and wall jump ninja doesn't. He slides down, but still you only have one button. Um, and how about Flappy Bird? Is that endless runner? It's button to go up and let go to go you down. You can position yourself with the button by going up. I bet it's not defined as that. I'm going to look it up. Because I'm sure it's kind of ambiguous. Well, higher levels have different speed arrows. They did. It was much, much, much faster arrows. Yeah, and they, they oh changed God. the speed and they changed the size. 
And both are relevant. Yeah, and, and the level I died on in the good one, like the arrows look different. I don't know if because they're going so fast, just stay out of yeah, the Yeah, yeah, no, they, it was it was um it was that they were going fast. They just like they zip by and they were just long enough to like leave a Yeah. Uh they're categorized under platforms, which is true. Um maybe there's a subcategory uh endless runners features levels that are typically procedurally oh, generated he, uh Bitico is asking no uh, no it's not it's that we got to anyway yeah maybe in higher levels that would be a good thing because that would mess you up bad yeah if the goal is to mess you up bad it would be a good thing <laughs> endless runner games feature <laughs> levels <laughs> that are typic typically procedurally generated which the arrows are random effectively going on forever which it didn't Challenge the player to go as far as they can without making a number of mistakes. Yes, but it fails on one of those. The The player may have control of the character's speed. Oh. As well as other actions to avoid obstacles, like ducking, jumping. Some of them just have jumping. Uh, runner games can be a combination of both auto and endless runner. What does that mean, auto? Cars. Really? I don't think so. I mean, automatic movement? Oh, auto runners right at the top. I missed it. Have the player character constantly running towards a rate that the player cannot control, uh, which it auto, does. Okay. It does in that. But the player can, can... Oh, you guys can't read that. It's way too small. Um, uh, but the player can perform actions such as jumping or dodging obstacles. It's very ambiguous. So it meets a lot of criteria of an endless runner, except it's not endless. And I think that being in the title disqualifies it. Like it has to be endless. That is not endless. It's it does sure. have an end and then but starts again. You could it. argue that it's a pre runner to the endless games. For sure. Because yeah. you can make that into an endless by just not having levels and the arrows get faster and faster it's and like faster. the what the hell show was not a podcast but it was all of the things a podcast is except that you couldn't just download it originally you couldn't just download it to your what should we call it it preceded the term podcast and also you couldn't download it at the time no we at the time I posted you had to, it i posted it every i week. thought at the time you couldn't download it but you could listen to it on the show Oh, no. so it really was a podcast. It just it it was. was. A, oh, I didn't realize it was only the name that was different. Yeah, we. I uploaded super compressed garbage mono, like the internet in 1999. Think back, kids. It's uh, <laughs> it was not good. Um, uh oh, somebody's old school here. Rendered ghost. <laughs> yeah, W2H show. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was a podcast, but the thing that defined podcasts in the beginning is that you could subscribe to them and it would automatically download mm -hmm. it like automatically yep. to your phone. But it's like, oh, a new one. That's what I mean, though. It was like it but not necessarily. wasn't a podcast, but it was the thing that a podcast is. Yeah. Like the actual the actual thing, not the not it the was. thing surrounding it. Like, how did you get it or whatever? We you, did it, it weekly. It was on the internet. Yeah. We uploaded it. Had all the characteristics yeah. of it. We did it. Like and podcasts are often done that. live and then oh, yeah. sent out and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. What we're talking about is Darcy and I were pioneers on the internet. Super. Yeah, but like, like you know, here like ahead of your time. Like it that's was like the problem. We're it was like just ahead. And I mean, I was just. the least interesting part of that show. <laughs> but like that show, we, we had so many of our friends with just like really like interesting like characters and and stories and all that it was it was they they yeah. really made it yeah it was great they yeah, were great. the stars we yeah. weren't we just we just kept like, it running <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 um yeah it was a radio show that we did live yeah. on the internet in 1999 yeah when broadcasting software just came out there was real player where you could do it but this was one was free yeah showcast and yeah. that's yeah. and that's why we did it yeah um the people who made winamp and, and it was 32k mono i believe uh, that we and it, uploaded it, it. It was. It was. Uh, oh no! It was less. Than you that. were like three days late setting up Rant Radio to be in 1998, something like that. I actually did did broadcast in '88, but I didn't do 98. 24 hours until nine, January 3rd, '99. So technic, I always say '99. Uh, it's just easier. 
But yes, it did broadcast in 80, 98. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it didn't broadcast 24 hours, which is the claim to fame. Oh, okay. And it broadcasted for 20 years. I shut it off exactly at 20 years, January 3rd, 2019. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. That was just. We didn't do shows that whole time, but. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun. But hey, we're still doing it 22 years later. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but I can say I was the first one to do the first video late night show, late night talk show uh, on the internet. Um, we did in 2000. Was that the one in Langley yeah. by Wendy's? We had a studio. We yeah. had a studio audience. Oh my God. It we was. Had a Band, we had bands play when there I, when live. I, I was there for maybe the first one or maybe not, but yep. I think it was the first one anyways. And the only thing going through my head was like, oh my God, this is like, this is the, this is the whole deal. It was like, <laughs> yeah, I was the sidekick. It was, it was so good. I just couldn't believe how good you guys Crazy. like. Crazy. And, and my band performed on the first show. So if I, were you there for that? Uh, I can't you remember. Performing? Honestly, I can't remember. Uh, it was not impactful. It might not. No, I, I, I think it must Tamara not have been. was there. Yep. So you probably were there. It may or may not have. Yeah. I. Most likely. Let's see. I Dar just think that I would have remembered if if it was when okay, you gonna were look it up. performing your band. I did see your band perform, but. What was it called? Uh, can see that i'm gonna look for it first and then show you um so i can go on oh no it was oh no it was uh sktfm that's right jesus why is it coming up with nothing Did they kick it off the internet <laughs> oh sky oh i see oh i know I know, it's all categorized under that one thing. Uh, so, oh, actually, that. Stop, stop, stop. Don't play it. <laughs> I need to... Where's the... Where's the bloody... Channel? Yeah. Oh, uh, your oh. screen has shrunk too much. There. Oh, that's why. Okay. Now we go to playlists. Now we go... Well, maybe I didn't upload it. Rant Media? Oh, there's only 22 there. Maybe I didn't upload it. But you have What the Hell Show on, on here, didn't you? You did all of those. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. eh, we'll show one of those. No, don't show that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Just really briefly. Uh, okay, okay so we're going we're gonna to go to the hospital <laughs> story now. Oh my God. Stop playing automatically. Uh, we need to go to the playlist. Is this the, this is too... That's the playlist. Your screen is shrunk, so what you were seeing was the playlist. Yeah. I'll play the very first one that I had, that we have recorded. Oh, this is just really, really early. January 31st was the one we first recorded. Uh, okay. Let me go there. I'll I'll mute it so we don't have to hear it. So you can just, <laughs> okay, just, there you just go. see it. And then you won't be so upset. <sighs> <laughs> this is so weird. Ugh. Anyway. So there's Darcy, uh, 22 years ago, doing radio broadcast, doing kind of the same thing as <laughs> as now, but with nothing to say. Nothing to say. <laughs> it was An so hour terrible. of nothing to say. It was awful. <laughs> and uh then the I'll... show was good but not the first ones when i was by myself oh my god it was terrible yeah <laughs> it was a bit uh a lot of a lot of dead air so then we'll go uh and, but most importantly not just the, the dead air was the least of the problems it was just like i i had nothing to say like i prepared stuff and that was the problem <laughs> was the prepared stuff just was boring and lame and there is the second to last show so there I am, right there, and there's Darcy. 
<laughs> and we had, you know, CRTs. Yeah. They were to look at the chat on because we were looking at the chat and we had a phone. We'd have phone calls. More hair, Darcy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shaves are pretty short now. Just a tiny bit more hair. And we had lots of snacks and Dr. Pepper there. <laughs> and somebody made a blended drink, apparently. Or at some point. And look, oh, there you go. That's a Commodore monitor. Yeah. 1702 yeah. Uh, Commodore monitor, which is awesome. Yep. CRTs. That's all we had. This is 2001. Yep. So uh, 20 years ago. Anyway. That's enough memory lane. Just thought since it came up, at least you don't have to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for being an influence on me. I stopped my podcast in 2014 ish, definitely inspired by what I listened to in the early 2000s. On Archived as a teen, I said before, I'm glad I found ZPH. And that crossed over into another one of my hobbies. Sweet. Awesome. Video games. Everybody likes video games. <laughs> Very few people who play nothing, no games at all. Like, no computer-based games, not on their phone, yeah. not on my dad console. Doesn't. Like, he does nothing. Yeah, no Card games? games? No. Oh, not, that's possible. Sure he plays card games. It's Board games? That, he's definitely has played Solitaire. Right. But, um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but most people do play something. Yeah, and, my mom and, does. Yeah? Yeah. On her phone? Yeah. Oh, very nice. On her so, iPad, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's lots of great simple games, and I mean we—that's the kind of games we play in here, like fairly simple. Some she had a Nintendo really Wii. Oh, really? She still has it, yeah. Oh yeah. wow, that's awesome. That's a good system. Yeah. Lots of games. Oh my god, so many games. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on. Actually, let's see what's coming up because I have something scheduled. Uh, Dragon's Descent. We're gonna be playing on Tuesday. It's a seventy-eight hundred game. I don't know why we hadn't played it before. We played the 2600 version. And I'll put some more 7800 games on that day. Uh, when we play 8-bit games next, I don't know when that'll be. It'll probably be a while before I get it sent off and upgraded, so we might schedule another one. Got some good games there. Peril by VHNC. Uh, RGB, which is looks really cool. And Bosconian, which is a homebrew remake of Bosconian, which is a game I love. And it's a really good version. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and uh, yeah, great show again. Popped in and out during After Dark. Thanks, Dan. And thank you, Sin Eater, uh, Azure 6502, Rendered Ghost, and first time chat from Sin Eater. Uh, I, liked, I like old school waiting for a show, going to a website, and then getting it. Uh, <laughs> Vitoko, uh, Azure, uh, Rendered Ghost, RC70. Uh, Thrust, Miss Command, Carl G, Ground Trooper, Dan ABC, and that is Charles Whelan, Mark Johannes. Oh. Uh, and he says, I like to be thrown in the action from the beginning, but it needs to be easy. Not tutorials. Mm. Not tutorials. Yeah. Forced tutorials make me really mad, especially if you have to restart the game. It's like, I like oh, it if I'm they starting... give you the choice to skip them oh my in gosh. game, yes. not having to go out. Yeah, because sometimes you're but it, playing but... the game again and you've defeated it, and you're like, I have to do a tutorial. Jeez, yeah, I have to take skipping. Switzerland. I have to play Switzerland on tutorials because, yeah. like, some games, like, I mean, you're right. Like, the tutorial should be if it's done right you're playing the game and yes. the tutorial is just playing the game it's part of the game yeah. it's still enjoyable yeah yeah those, those tutorials i'll play like valve games are pretty oh, i mean yeah. they stretch it out over like a lot of the a lot of that's normal in a game where like essentially like they prep you to to you just start. use the stuff you start and then you get a thing and then later you get a you gun thing, you have to shoot a later, thing yeah. you shoot an easy creature yeah. um yeah they, they do it really good. They, they do a really they, good job. Yeah. And uh, what was it? Uh, Alex, the VR, uh, the Half-Life VR game that came out with fairly recently. Yeah, they second. have like, um, what do you call it? Like the, when you go through it and they have all these headphones where you can listen to it and they tell you what they did on this thing and why they did oh, this and why they so did cool. that. It's really, it's actually really, really cool. So you can lift up an audio device. And yeah, it's gets... like a set of headphones and you grab it and you oh, put it on your so head. Cool. 
Oh and then gosh. it like talks through the the thing. Oh, we did it for this reason, and we had to make sure that it was scary, but not too whatever. <laughs> oh, and you need and oh, you need to get this thing, and so we mm. did this and this and this to make sure that you get the thing. And then there's all this tension, but we have to make sure that like you're ready when the thing happens. So until you're pointed at the blah 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 blah, then the thing doesn't come out. But it mm. still sounds scary, like it can get you any second. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty, yeah, it was really cool. Looking forward to getting a VR setup. Um, the resolution on the new ones is just like it. It's, it's they, really good. They now. sound like it's like an the HD next thing eye, to fix right? is not the headset. Like the headsets are getting to the point where like the resolution might not need to change. So, so other things would like, need to be no fixed big before. ramp ups. Yeah, like they, that's not. A but I haven't tried anymore. them, so I can't tell you that. Are they in person? But are they 1080p or higher now? When oh, you try? they started 1080p oh, and okay. higher. Okay. They were a little better than 1080p, I think. Now they're 4K and 5K per eye. Not per well total. Oh, total. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking per eye. That's plenty. That's plenty now. Yeah, and it, obviously it doesn't audio need to be awesome. 4K or 8K or whatever. It needs to be high enough that the screen door effect isn't a real issue. That's it. That's yeah. all you really because the tracking and all that stuff is all that ready. Was all fine from from the get go. It was all ready. The controllers amazing. were yeah. already good from the beginning. You know, the other thing is that motion sickness. I thought, oh, this is a killer for it, mm. but like, I play games now where I do the sliding across the floor, <laughs> which used to make me like her. <laughs> but they 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 do things like they limit your field of view when you move. Oh, and yes. you don't really notice because once you get used seem to it, like you're moving as fast. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't trigger the thing. And, like, yes, after an hour or maybe two hours, depending on the game, I start to, like, in the periphery, I start to feel something. Mm. But, like, I don't feel sick. Because when you have a wide lens, things in your peripheral move very fast. Yeah, yeah. And when you uh, zoom in or have a, a less wide lens, they don't seem to move as fast. Like, yeah. if, if you've ever seen a video... Yeah, where you zoom in and it's like, hmm. Like, there was a demonstration on something I saw. There's, it's a wide angle, mm -hmm. and it said, okay, cover the sides with your hands. It's, it just keeps a, it's like a train. Yeah, yeah. Cover the sides, it's like, oh, it's slowed down, like, quite a bit. Yeah. And you cover the middle, it's like, <laughs> crazy. So yeah. that's a great solution. And, you know, the other thing is, when, when 3D games, first-person 3D games first came out, yeah. I knew several people that got motion sickness just from seeing them. <laughs> just from looking at them. Not even playing them, but by seeing someone else, but they were like, whoa, like they well, immediately got motion sickness. Motion sickness comes from the disconnect between not feeling it and seeing it. Yeah. So that's why people can't read things in the car. They have to watch the horizon. Yeah, some people have that, that problem. Yeah. Right? But here's the thing. Since that early time, when I knew of people that got uh, motion sickness from watching a first-person shooter, I have I, I've never heard that anymore. And like, does that still happen, and we just don't hear about it, or is it that I've people never. experience the stuff enough early on that they don't that they're not bothered by it, or they just don't play games, or they, what is it? Why do I not hear about that at all? Don't play games. They're like, I get sick. I don't want to watch it. I don't. I don't play them. Yeah. And they just know by now, um, because it. It should be the same as watching a movie, right? Movies move, but video games are like really fast and they move around and then your perspective changes. Movies actually can't do that because it looks terrible. When you're at 24 frames a second and you're panning, mm. it looks terrible. Yeah, yeah. So they have to limit the but speed of But they also have panning. the problem when they have high frame rate, it looks fake. It looks real. Yeah, yeah. You're not in a dream-like yeah, yeah. movie and that's why people didn't like it. It's like, oh, it's too real. Yeah, yeah. It looks like reality. Yep. And it takes like if you're watching a fantasy I remember, film. I remember thinking. I yeah. remember thinking that of video versus film. I remember thinking it's the, the problem with video is that it just looks too like it looks too shiny and real. Yeah. 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 And that's the problem. Like I would see videos, fr like video video from like the seventies, and I was like, it just doesn't look as good as film. Why? And that that just goes back to the language of film. People expect movies to look otherworldly. Yeah. They don't want them to look real. They real. want them to be matte. But like RC seven E says, Blair Witch used it to a good effect. Oh yeah, yeah. Where it did look real. And people use that to make it look like, oh, it's found footage or this is real. Um they do that in war movies where they uh 
decrease the 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 frame uh not the frame rate but the uh the exposure time so it's like very precise there's no blur so it looks it looks different it looks yeah. more real yeah it's like um, the sports thing yeah sports setting or sports setting yeah, yeah yeah that's right i was talking about triggering motion sickness oh yeah people oh, did get I sick because it's so blah. but that kind of added to the yeah tamara has that yeah yeah, like like so does Tanya. She'll Tanya like there are certain it. shows where just the camera thing just she's like no I can't watch this. Yeah, there was a sh a game that we were playing, oh Flob the other day, where the mechanic was it flips the screen and then you you always fall down, so you have to go through mazes and things and by flipping the screen and go over things, and we had and halfway through the show we're like uh this is trigger warning here, <laughs> <laughs> if you have problems with this but we already it was too late, <laughs> yeah, people would have flipped away if they had tr troubles <laughs> uh but anyway uh it's time to go um so we will see you on tuesday with more awesome games we're playing 7800 games then nice yeah so eventually we'll be, be flipping back 2600 7800 8-bit because there's a lot of really good 8-bit games out there that'll be a lot of fun to do um so thanks for hanging out bye, bye. see you in two weeks See you in two weeks. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you in two weeks. Yeah. See Darcy in two weeks. I'll be here on Tuesday. <laughs>